Hey Pisces, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. As you can see, this week I posted it in the community section. So you may want to tap on that on my channel and go and read it. Um, readings have changed as far as the schedule rollout. So I'll be doing weeklies Monday, Tuesday, and singles on Thursdays every week. Okay. Changing it up just so you guys don't have to wait all week for your weeklies. Okay. Alrighty. Cause before I was doing three a day, three week readings a day. So now everyone will have their readings out by Tuesday. Alrighty. Pisces, divine spirit, Holy spirit. What's going on? We have discontent and boredom, okay? We have intuition, your card. This is the high priestess card in this deck. And we have movement choices and decisions. Get alone by yourself. That's the first thing I'm hearing. You need to be by yourself this week. You really need time to think some things through, okay? And some of you may have felt like you've been by yourself, you've been you know, bored or lonely with discontent and boredom. But there's something I hear that spirit needs to show you, okay? So you need to pray, meditate, or just get in a quiet spot, you know? Take some time on your lunch break to just eat by yourself and just tune in, tap in, listen to a TED Talk if you need to, or something inspirational, listen to music, I feel like because spirit wants to show you something about your life because you're getting ready to make some type of movement choice or decision this week, Pisces. There's some choice coming in. We have four, which is comprised of twos. Then we have two and two. So we really, we have 22, 22 here. <laughs> so I feel like there's something with you and spirit, like spirit needs you to get one-on-one -on -one with them. Just you and spirit, not you and a group of people, not you and, you know, everybody else and all of that. It's, I keep feeling that energy, like spirit wants to really get you by yourself. So things can be revealed about what you need to do. Okay. Some of you have felt like, Am I really living my purpose? Am I really doing what I'm supposed to be doing? I hear that question coming through for some of you, Pisces. You're like, am I really living out my dream? Am I doing what I really love to do? Is it? Some of you need to figure that out. This week, it's like some of you, spirit is nudging you to figure that out. Are you really doing what you love to do? Okay. See, base chakra is at the bottom of the deck here. Some of you have been tired and I feel like it, it's not a, a physical tired. It's like tired emotionally. Like you're tired of just the same old, same old. Mm. And I'm feeling like there's a need to just tap in to that spiritual. This feels like Scorpio's reading, <laughs> honestly. Uh, some of you could have Scorpio in your chart, but I feel like you need to tap into that side of yourself and ask yourself, that side of yourself, meaning spirit, and ask yourself, am I happy? Am I really happy in my life? Am I really happy where I am in life? Okay. That's what I feel very strongly. Some of you uh, could be feeling ill at this time. I don't know, maybe because of the, the season, you know, temperatures are changing, temperatures are getting colder. So some of you may need to rest and um, take your, you know, take your medicines and stuff, you know, over the counter stuff, whatever you take, Theraflu, NyQuil, whatever you take. Um, for the sniffles, I'm just feeling that energy. Like some of you may not be feeling your best maybe under the weather a bit. So you may need to rest a little. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's coming through for Pisces this week? What's coming through? Discontent and boredom. We have the Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune. Start thinking about your future, you guys. It's time to manifest. Yeah. With Gemini's energy. It's like some of you may want to make more money with the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you... I feel like you want to make more, you want to do more. 
Nine of Cups with the Will of Fortune. Yeah, it's like you want a better future for yourself. Some of you are looking to like retire early or, you know, you're looking to, I feel like just be able to afford things, okay? Some of you are tired of not being able to afford stuff and you're manifesting right now. Mm, you're manifesting, yeah, possibly a passion project with the Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, something that you're really passionate about with that fire sign energy coming through, Ace of Wands. Some of you, you need to start now. Start this week. Just start. Just start. Just get started, okay? With what, something that you really love to do. Intuition. What is that for, Pisces, this week? We have the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, uh-huh, and the Sun. Yeah, if you've been, yeah, feeling like, okay, I'm in debt, I'm paying off everything. I, some of you have just been struggling paycheck to paycheck. You've been paying on this, paying on that, and it's just like, oh, uh, I'm just ready to be happy. Some of you, you just want peace and quiet. I feel with that intuition card, you just want things to work out. It's like, ugh. I feel like you've been paying off a lot. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, your energy, Pisces, with the hanging man. You've been stuck paying on things. You See, something is coming to a close. You're getting ready to pay off some debts. I feel like something you've been paying on for a while. What has Pisces been paying on? We had the two of swords kind of flip out sideways. Yeah, something that has been... I feel like keeping you blocked or stuck. This, oh, it feels like Scorpio's reading so badly. We can't take all the cards. <laughs> what has been keeping Pisces stuck? What is this? Tower, kaboom. As I say it, Scorpio's energy. A lot of you may have Scorpio in your chart or you just may be in the energy of the tower. Things are shaking up in your life, okay? And you may have felt like, Everything is falling apart, but actually spirit is changing your situation to get you to move into your purpose. Queen of Swords. See, it's like spirit is toughening you up. They know that you have it in you. It's like Pisces, you have it in you to be the Queen of Swords. Now, come on now. See, Three of Swords, you've been feeling sad, hurt. It's time to move out of that energy. Step into the energy of cancer with the chariot and move out of feeling disappointed, feeling discontent and boredom, feeling like, oh, I'm disappointed with my life and the things are, I'm paying on this, I'm paying on that. I'm at a job that I'm not really passionate about. Y'all, it's something about this week that uh, is shifting for you and uh, Scorpio, <laughs> you're getting ready to come out of heartbreak, heartache, pain, okay? Maybe you've, I've also, I'm also feeling for your love life. Maybe you've been investing in someone and it's just not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's time to stand in your power as a queen of swords energy, okay? Take on the energy of an air sign and it's time to Get out of that heartbreak situation If for your love life. If some of you have been stuck dealing with pain or third parties or just a bunch of bullshit, Spirit is saying, get in your chariot and get out of there, okay? Movement, choices, and decisions. You have to make the choice. Sometimes you have to leave. Don't wait for people to leave you. Sometimes you have to make the decision, take the initiative. See, Five of Wands wants to come out. You've been conflicted. Should I stay with this person? Should I not? Should should I keep, you know, trying to make this situation work? No. Some of you have been fighting with your family as well. I just got that energy. Possibly a father figure with the emperor. Some of you have been very conflicted on your job is what I'm getting very strongly. You may have bumped heads recently with a manager or a boss. I'm getting that. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles on your job, on your job, y'all, you guys, I'm feeling like this is your job. And this could have made you sad, Five of Cups. This could have, you know, some of you regret even investing your time in this job. It's like, why am I doing this? Why? <laughs> why do I keep showing up every day? 
Four of Cups, you don't want it anymore. You don't want this job anymore. Two of Pentacles, some of them are not even paying you what you're worth. They're not even paying you enough. Some of you could be looking for other offers, applying for uh, different jobs with the Page of Cups. Anything else Pisces would need to know for this week? Lots of spiritual messages coming through this week. That's why I like using the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. Those cards, those Oracle cards bring out other messages other than love, love, love. Four of Swords, it's time to rest. That's the discontent and boredom energy. But for a lot of you with the Four of Swords, it's time to rest. You've been overworking or overstressing for some of you. And I also feel like if someone has been pissing you off or you clashed with someone recently, just be quiet. Just sometimes we have to just go silent on people, which was the opposite of what I was saying for Scorpios. It's time to speak up. But for you guys, I'm feeling like if you find yourself, you keep getting into little petty arguments and clashing and just go silent. Try something different. Time to walk away. Look, eight of cups. Look at what spirit is showing you. What else do you need to know? That's what I was asking. Four swords, eight of cups, time to walk away. Yeah, it may be hard. Yeah, you're tired. <laughs> Nine of wands. It's time to walk away, you guys. Oh, to something better. Something that will give you the emotional fulfillment that you seek. Ten of cups. You may have to go into hermit mode. You may have to go into hermit mode, okay? And you may just have to cut some people off. Enough is enough, Pisces. These people who have been stressing you out, this job stressing you out, you feel discontent, you feel boredom, you don't feel fulfilled. It's like enough is enough. I have to get out of here. <laughs> okay, whoa. See, trust flipped out in reverse, but I don't read these oracle cards in reverse. Trust. I feel like for some of you, your trust was broken on a job or with a person. Look what fell out. The answer is yes. If you've been seeking an answer, spirit is saying yes. Do I need to move? Do I need to leave this job? Spirit is saying to somebody, the answer is yes. Okay, and we got two more. Unlikely get more information. Yeah, I feel like before, before you make a move, get all the information that you need, okay? Get everything you need. So if you're if you're moving to another job, make sure it has all the benefits that you seek. If you're moving to another location, make sure it's everything that you have wanted. Okay? So if you don't get the information or um, you don't do your research, that's what I want to say. If you don't do your research, something may be unlikely that it, it won't happen. Okay? Get the information that you need. Before you make any sudden move, okay? And I feel like when it comes to people, it's time to make a quick move by cutting people off, okay? Trust that spirit has you. Trust that the answer is yes, okay? Whatever you've been thinking about, whatever question has been on your mind and listen to your intuition, that's one of the most powerful things that you have, within you is your intuition, Pisces. Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy for this week. I hope you enjoyed your video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Pisces, Sophia Monetero. We would love to have you. Again, remember our schedules have changed for the video rollouts. So Mondays and Tuesdays, your weeklies, and then Thursday singles reads. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for your support, your time, and I'm wishing you the best in this situation. Take care. Bye.